Hello everyone, and welcome to another G1 Transformer review. Now, uh, oh, haven't I just done the Scourge? Yeah, ah, oh, of course. This is the G1 Scourge I just reviewed, and this guy here is the G1 Scourge that came out in 1987. Now, outwardly, they look pretty much exactly the same. Same sticker applications, same colours, pretty much the same moulding. So, how come is there a different Scourge? And only a year afterwards. Well, as I say, this is the guy what came out with the movie line and is the Scourge you'll see in the 1986 cartoon movie. But, a little bit later on, when we got to the Headmasters line, they needed to revamp a few of the older toys. So, what you did get was the same toy, but with a Target Master. Now, this is Fracas, and he is Scourge's gun. Now, at the moment, of course, he's in gun mode. And a major difference that they had to do is if you take out the booster in the middle, which is exactly the same, again, a solid booster, this time they made it so that you could peg a Target Master in the top. Now, he did appear in the cartoons like that, and did attack the Autobots. Though I believe they did a bit of artistic license, and I'm not sure if Frack is actually sort of sat about there. But I'd have to look back at the cartoon to actually find that out. But, that's about the only moulding difference. Now, one way to tell the difference between these guys, if you just see a picture of them underneath, which isn't always the way somebody's going to show it, is if I lift the camera up slightly so we can get a nice shot. If you notice on this one, it's still 86 Hasbro, Takara Co Limited, and 86 again, but this guy's been made in Macau. Whereas, if I show the same panel on the back of the other Scourge, if I can find it, where on earth is it hiding? Ah, oh, it's right in the middle there, isn't it? I'll have to try and get the wing sections around a little bit so we can show you. Now, if you remember on the other review, this one says Taiwan. Now, whether that is the difference that they were made in other factories by that stage, I don't know. Now, maybe somebody else can tell me, but as it stands, this is the Target Master version of Scourge. Now, this is much rarer than the normal Scourge. The normal one, sort of price-wise, if you want to go with it in that way, goes for around about the sort of 30, 40 pound mark, even with his box, you know, um, even if it's a bit tacky, something like that. Now, it's a different kettle of fish. Now, it's subjective what you want to say this guy's worth, because he's pretty much the same toy. And if you wasn't worried about getting the Target Master side of it, you can get a, a normal one for much less. But the Target Master version, complete with his Target Master, of course, even loose, I've seen prices getting up to around the £200 mark. Now, is it worth it just for the sake of having a little gun or turns into a man? Uh, that comes down to personal choice, to be quite honest. A lot of people would say no, but it is, of course, a different figure and it gives it a little bit more play value. Now, I will quickly transform this guy, but I'll transform him off camera just for speed's sake. And what basically is exactly the same transformation, so you're not losing anything by not seeing it. But this guy had one obvious major difference. Now, it's a difference you only see when he is transformed anyway. So I'll quickly do that. And there you go. You get two of the little bearded wonders. Pretty much identical in all the moulding and sticker application details. Um, so you're not really looking at anything. The only thing missing on the stickers on this guy is the red engine one on the top there. But I'm sure I can sort one of them out. But the main moulding one. Now if I move them in and I'll put the target master on the other side is to look at their hands now it's only a small difference but you'll notice just how larger the hole is on the target master version on this side 
Now that is simply down to the fact that the original Scourge came with a gun, but it had a very small peg. Now if I try to put that in the Target Master's hand, it's going to just fall out. And that is simply just down to the fact that to get the Target Master's to fit in the later figures, they had to enlarge the hands on all of these figures. So basically you've got a larger peg and of course that just fits nice and snugly in the top there. Now the weird thing is, although that sort of blue gun did sort of fit in on top of Scourge's head in the other review, it's a little bit loose, it wouldn't stay on that well, but it just about hangs in there. The weird thing is that Fracas does fit in the old Scourge. Um, if I can sort of take that peg out of the top and pull one out of the Target Master version, you'll see that the holes on the top are the same size. Now that is a little bit of a weird, um, whether that was a bit of pre-planning on Hasbro's part, I don't know, or whether that was simply down to a bit of a coincidence. But those holes are the same, so if you did happen to cross a normal one and you wanted to display a Target Master version, but you only had the normal uh, robot as such, the, the standard one, you could actually display it as a Target Master in its vehicle mode, which is a bit odd, but you know, pretty much the way that you see him uh, in his um, Headmaster role, really. Um, obviously he did use them as a weapon, as the Target Master version has got him at the moment. And again, you've got nice clip joints on the elbow. But there's the main difference between the two. Now I'll give you a little look at Fractus. Now you do have to be really careful with the Decepticon Target Masters because they work simply on a little clip joint to do the hinging part of the legs. Now this one actually, over the years, has got quite loose, which is probably to its benefit. It hasn't got any stress marks. And I've just put it down to the fact that because it's a bit looser, it's not been prone to snap, and believe me, they do. And there you go, you just fold him open, and there's Fracas. Now the thing you've really got to look out for is the fact that these guys, as I say, tend to snap. But to try and pick up a loose Fracas on his own, um, it's rather difficult, let's put it that way. Uh, you pretty much will see this guy going on his own for in the region of about 40, 50 quid. And he's certainly not worth it in so much as what you get for your money. But if you've got a Target Master version of Scourge and you want to complete him, well then ultimately you've got to bite the bullet if you want to get one. They didn't reissue Fracas in any other mould apart from the even rarer G1 Target Master, which was the Japanese only art fire, which was the uh, red and white version of Inferno that was only sold in Japan. Uh, so, seriously hard to find those Target Masters. Whether or not you could pick one up as one of the reissues, I don't know if they've ever reissued a Target Master with that actual Target Master Companion. I think the one what they reissued for, uh, I'm trying to think which one it was now, with Stepper was actually for a different Transformer. So I don't think they've ever reissued another Target Master that would actually go with that. I uh, wish they would reissue a art fire because that's what I'd really love to pick up, but Hasbro haven't got down to that one yet, or Takara. But anyway, that's a little view a little look and a little review of the rarer version of Scourge, the Target Master version. And I hope you've enjoyed this little look. It's not quite a standard review like I'd normally do, but I thought it was important to show this version after the first normal version as a good comparison and also show them together so you can see the difference. And also, you know, if you're on the lookout for one of these guys, you can spot it a little bit easier. The main giveaway, if they ever show the robot mode for sale is look at the size of the holes in the hands and you might be able to pick yourself up a nice little bargain. Anyway, I hope that helps anybody who's looking to pick up a Target Master version of him. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please feel free to comment and subscribe if this is the first review you've seen of mine. I've done quite a lot of other G1s and assorted other 
movie line box and obviously the different cartoon series uh, generations as well and that's it so thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this review